Hey guys, what's up here? Welcome back to another live game commentary. Today we are playing Shaco in the jungle. Shaco is, statistically speaking, the strongest jungler around in League of Legends right now. Whatever region you look at, surprisingly, sometimes there are uh, kind of uh, differing statistics depending on whether you're playing on uh, like the Korean servers or whether you're playing on like the Western servers. Shaco is just one of the... It's just sick. He's just really bloody good. Whatever region you're playing him on, uh, he's a really good solo queue jungler. So I'm going to show you how to play Shaco in today's video. I've done a Shaco gameplay maybe a few weeks ago. I think it was before the patch hit though. Can I get a leash please? Uh, but e either way, uh, I used to play loads of him back in the day. I kind of want to get the Shaco grind back on. So uh, yeah, we'll be showing you a pretty stunning way to be playing him, which is the Lethality Shaco. Uh, lots of fun. Uh, Shaco in general as a champion. Uh, he's he's a really tricky champion to play. He's got lots of unique mechanics, uh, but he's a very solid champion to play. Obviously, I mean he's pretty bloody good, so you'd expect that he was a, a solid champion to play. Um, but yeah, outside of outside of that stuff, he's just. Did I lose my red buff? I'm so confused. I didn't. I'm just. <gasps> I don't have items. <laughs> I actually did not buy items. <laughs> Look how much XP I got for not having items. Are you serious? I got like half XP. Guys, I'm trolling myself. I'm trolling myself. I, I never thought I'd do this. I, I, I never thought I'd do this and not notice. Well, you know what, guys? We're playing League of Legends on hard mode, boys. Are you ready for this? This is just how good Shaco is. You don't need to start off with items. You don't need to get level 2 from your red buff. <laughs> Make it feel like you got your red buff stolen because you didn't get level 2. <laughs> Fuck me. Now, we're all good, guys. Guys, I'll tell you what, okay? Here it is. If we come out of this game with 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 with, with, with the W and, 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 and Nutsack in ta intact, how about you uh, drop me a solid here and, and, and chuck a cheeky like on the video? How's that sound? Does that sound good to us? Why am I saying us? I mean, to you? <laughs> Does that sound good to you? Does that sound good to you guys? It sounds good to me. But then again, lots of things sound good in my head, like playing League of Legends without items, apparently. Back in hell, Foxy. I got my Q at level 2 here, just in case, a bit of a safety thing, because, you know, I'm, I'm behind uh, the curve here from uh, as far as my jungle clears go, because I obviously kind of trolled myself, so if Kane shows up, I'm going to need my Q, or else I'm going to die because I don't have my flash. I'm going to show you my runes and all that stuff in a sec, guys. Uh, I'm just going to try and do a cheeky little gank onto this mid lane, which is probably not going to do anything. He's dead. Let me show you my runes. Dark Harvest, guys. It was really good, but it got nerfed. But I still think it's the best rune to take on Shaco. You could go Electrocute if you wanted to. Uh, honestly, up to you to that degree. Uh, Dark Harvest or Electrocute. Either one of them work on Shaco. Uh, outside of that, it's pretty standard stuff. Sudden Impact works off of our Q. Eyeball Collection for more damage. Ravenous Hunter for a more move speed. Just nice stuff. Pretty standard here, guys. Pretty standard. Now, Shaco as a champion gets stronger as the game goes on. He's really good as like a late game assassin. Uh, at this stage of the game, he's not bad. Uh, but you'll see you, you kind of lack tools. You know, like your stealth doesn't last very long. You don't have a huge amount of damage. Uh, I'm going to show you a cheeky little gank here. I don't really... Ooh, okay. I got just used E, so this, this could work for us. We're going to put our box down if he gets feared by this. There it is. There's our fear. That's one ignite. Second ignite. And he's dead. <laughs> Double ignite, boys. Beautiful stuff. Uh, Ergot does have TP. You want me to push this? Okay. I was going to say, we could just leave this here, honestly. Uh, it may have been a better idea to leave this. But if he wants me to help him push, we'd actually do push pretty far. So that's fine. Uh, that's great for me. Because I now get, like, a little bit more experience. So that's cool. Now, do I really want to go mid, guys? Not really. This guy is spamming me to help him out, but the thing is, like, dude, you're getting shat on. It's kind of tough to help you, but I will try and help you. I'm a nice teammate. I'm a nice teammate. I will try and help you. And she has a summoners, of course. <laughs> Why would you have to burn any summoners to <laughs> solo kill someone? A level 3 as Oriana, of all people. 
but it's okay. Oh, my walls are down. My walls are down. That's not nice. So do I go bot here? No, I think I'm fine. All right, not the best early game f happening right now, but it's fine. You know what we're going to do, guys? We're going to buy a tier mat. Now, this is the first item you should get whenever you're playing Shaka. 100% buy this item. Buy, 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 buy. It's an amazing item on Shaco. It's really, really good. Uh, the thing is with Shaco is that his single target clears are, uh, are, are good, are fine, but his AoE clears really struggle. I also just want to take a little bit of a moment here to kind of tell you about uh, your ideal first clear. Things didn't go exactly the way we wanted to at level 1. <laughs> but ideally what would happen is I put some boxes down my red buff and get a leash. And you saw I put one box down on top at the crux. Now that means that when I get that leash, I can then use that box, run, you know, run to the Krugs, use that box to kill them. Uh, and it's just, it's just a bit slightly efficient. You get two camps quite quickly. Uh, and the cool thing about taking the Krug camp uh, is that you only need three camps to get level three from that. Um, everyone wants my fucking love here, for real. Holy shit. Seriously, everyone wants me. Corky spam pinging me. You know what? I don't even, like, Corky should not be pinging me. Like, he should just be chill mid lane. Corky does not want, like, I don't really, like, the mid lane, that's the most boring mid lane matchup. It's the kind of thing you would see in, like, LCS in Season 5, where, you know, Oriana and Corky are just, like, the two lanes that just no one does anything on. Because they're that boring. And they're that safe. Anyway, we'll come in here, see if we can get her. She has no flash. So we're going to jump in on her. There we go. Good stuff. We did it. Like I say, if she has no flash, she's a bit easier for us to take down. Oh, get him, Vayne. Get him, girl. Nice. Kane's there. It's a bit scary. We'll put. A, I don't think this is going to be up, but we'll put a ward down here anyway. And let's help this guy push this under the tower. Ooh, that's close. Has Ignite got him? Oh, unlucky. Can we get a, can we get a plating here? If you can, guys, when you're playing jungle, stick around for one of these plates. 80 gold, it gets your ward. It's good stuff. Boom. There we go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Also, if you're a laner before you recall, as long as, long as you can still recall in time to get back to lane uh, and not lose stuff under the tower yourself, go for that cheeky, just stay a little bit there and, and go for those plates. Like I emphasize, emphasizing here, you don't want to mess yourself up by doing that though, okay? Don't mess yourself up. Ready for Ready for but yeah, tight plating, guys, is OP. I mean, I don't play lane much, but... I realize, you know, if, if I, but when I've been playing lane a bit more recently, especially mid lane, because the lane's quite a short lane, right? So it's easy to get under the enemy tower. You take one of those plates, it's 100, 160 gold. Holy shit. 160 gold just sitting in your pocket. Yes, please. Like two of those and you've got a kill's worth of gold. And there are five plates just ready for you. It's actually ridiculous. Uh, I haven't talked about skill order this game, guys, but I'm going to be maxing my Q. Uh, now, I would recommend to always get at least three points in your Q before you put points in your E. You don't have to. If you really want points in your E, you can do that. There are some Shaco players who max E straight up. Zero points in Q. But if you put points in your Q, your stealth lasts longer, and it just becomes so much easier to play this champion. So I'd highly recommend it, guys. I'm going to be maxing it flat out. Like I say, you don't have to do it. Doesn't mean it's the newbie thing to do. You know, just if in doubt, bloody do it. You know, that's what I say. It's really solid. Okay, Kane is moving up the map here. Curious to see where exactly he's... What he's thinking about. Uh, I was kind of low on health, right? So he might be looking at me thinking, hmm, something juicy there. I'm actually kind of trolling here, aren't I? Why can't I hit the... But this is good. This is good. I'll totally take that. I I I don't I don't know what I did there. I honestly don't know what I was doing there. But that's totally worth it. Did he get an assist? I think he may have done. That is totally worth it. I get a shutdown gold there. And I'm Shaco. Like I, if I were to say, yo, you can give a kill to Shaco or to Kane, who would you rather have it on, Shaco? So we'll take that. And by the way, if I have any. <laughs> Any American viewers here, uh, whether it's Shaco or Shaco, uh, there is two ways to uh, 
two things to bear in mind when you're deciding how to pronounce it and what the correct correct pronunciation is. Uh, if it's Shaco, if uh, you're wrong, and Shaco if you're right. Let's see if I can do a cheeky little lane gank here. Now it's hard to do lane ganks without move speed. Ooh, nice. You got him. You got him. Very nice. Good stuff. Don't mind me. I'm just uh, thinning out this minion wave so we can push. Not taxing or anything like that. Good job. Double kill. Let's go. If you do want to have successful lane ganks, guys, then it's uh, a very good idea to have Moby boots or at least tier 2 boots because then you can travel a further distance in your stealth. If you travel further distance in your stealth, what do you know? It's easier for you to just like press stealth here and then walk to here, you know? Look at these dickheads spamping. Guys, you should be okay in your own lane. What do it what honestly, Corky, what do you want from me? Like you you should not struggle this in this lane. You really shouldn't. It's pretty inexcusable that you're that you suck this bad. And the thing is, like, you're gonna you're gonna if I come to your lane, you're taking resources away from your team. You know, to take them on, to put them onto yourself, and it's like, are you sure you want to do that when you're gonna lose lane anyway? I don't know. It's not great. I could have got the scuttle crab here. I guess I do get a flash, but still, I might be able to get the scuttle anyway. Actually, I'm gonna get the scuttle anyway. Maybe I should have gone top. Maybe I'm being selfish here. I think I'm being selfish. I think I'm being pretty selfish here. He has no well. Good flash. Yeah, I'm. Um, listen, mate. Just do your thing. Can Corky help you? Corky's not even recalled yet, okay. Oh, man. Pings are the bane of my existence as a jungler. Like, just chill, bro. We're fine. I can gank bot. Oh, good. Goody. I really shouldn't go mid. It's a it's a huge it's a fat waste of my time. Does not help us win this game really. Okay, now I've got rank five in my stealth. I can just walk up to these guys, pretty much. Oh, he's jumped in. He's jumped in. Where the f why are we running away? Why are we running away? I know Vayne's low, but guys, really? Holy moly. Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, wow. I don't know how that happened. I don't know, man. That was... That was a bit... Mm. I have no mana here. So, we're just going to right-click this girl and pray... Oh, we've got to... Call Listen, mate! <laughs> don't you start question mark pinging me, Sonny Jim. <laughs> Holy shit, you're joking. If we win this game, it, 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 uh, don't you don't you start question mark picking me, buddy. Honestly. Dirty, dirty human being. Maybe I should have gone for the dragon there, I don't know. To be honest, actually dragon's a pretty bad idea. We we didn't kill Kane, and that was a bit of a bit of a kind of exasperated fight. Uh, which means that you know, by the time I start dragging, you know, people are going to start respawning and heading heading down towards me. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make a team play here. Okay, watch this team play. This is the best team play you can do. Good job, top. By the way, sorry I can't be there all the time, but we get good stuff bot and mid. See, I'm just being nice about it. I'm letting him know. I see you, bro. I see you and I respect you, but it's just not happening, you know? Fuck, my whole top side's up, but I might need to go bot here. Uh, I'm gonna run bot. I don't know, this, this, this is going against my jungle instincts of give me that farm, give me that jungle farm. But you know what? Fuck it. Let's be a team player. Here's Kane, okay, nice, so. We know something's going on here. And again, Moe Boot's coming through here, so I can travel like 10,000. Oof. You know what? Until Oriana showed up, I was down. And then Oriana showed up, I'm not down anymore. I am not down anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. 
That does beg the question what the hell Ogre was doing in our jungle though. I have no idea what he was doing here if he had no support from Orianna or Kane. <laughs> it just seems very peculiar to me. Ouch. Do you mind? Hit her! Nice. No, oh, this Oriana is a real pain in my. Oh. Can he take? Can he take ready? Asks. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, she knows I'm here. How long did that ward have? That ward had like two seconds left. I mean, he's gonna take red anyway, right? Like, doesn't really change anything <laughs> if if I say yes or no. Oh, I'm gonna say it, of course. Because it makes, you know, it makes, I'm being positive, positive summoner here. Ah, bruv, I didn't say you take the Krogs as well though, did I? Hmm. Selfish, selfish human being. Not really though, I did kind of, I did kind of hang him out to dry a bit, didn't I, this game? Well, that's not entirely true. I've done a lot of stuff top lane, but yeah. Is that APS? No, it's not. Just looks like APS. Where did Ez go? Has he gone back mid? Okay, I can go bot, but I need my Q. Holy shit, Vayne. <gasps> okay. <laughs> she hit the tower. Let's see if we can get Ez here. I can jump over this wall. This is the power of boots, guys. Oh my god. Never mind. It's not the power of boots. Because you're not going to see it. Kind of got caught in flux a little bit here, guys, with uh, our positioning. Uh oh. Just running from lane to lane to lane and not really getting anything that we want. Really awkward here. Whoa, this guy hurts me a lot. I want to make sure we position the clone here so that he can't ult me. Or Lulu, I guess. We want that clone to block that right there. Yo, the last kind of I don't know, this since I've 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 been out on the map here is really bad. You know, the last kind of two, three minutes here has been pretty terrible. Don't try this at home, guys. Just been running around, not really reading the map very well. I mean people have been doing some strange things. I don't really know why Orion decided to play bot. That was an interesting one. I'm a bit too low, honestly. Just let me do my shit. Because I haven't, I haven't been farming this last 2-3 minutes either. Which is not really ideal. My Dark Harvest sack 7-18 is... Could be better. Does he have Rise ready? He does. Oof. Big boy. Alright. I said we were going to go in for the Lethality build this game. Dustblade into Yumu's is what we'll be doing. Uh, Dust, like this, uh, the... the Tiamat into into Dustblade is pretty standard, honestly, on on Shaco. I'd recommend this even if you're not going to go for the Lethality build. Because even if you want to do, like, uh, let's say, tri uh, Triforce, for example, that's a good choice. It's a good option on Shaco to do that Triforce. Um, you know, you, you're slightly better at, like, clearing the jungle and stuff like that. Better sustain damage, just slightly less burst damage. But, uh, you know, you'd still be doing Dustblade. It's just too good on Shaco not to get, really. I am so fucked. <laughs> I went I went forward there and we did not go forward together. That's 750 to Kane. Okay, good. Kane was the best person to get that gold there. We did not want that on What? We did not want that on Oriana or Corky because they're they're the carries there. Kane not so much. Uh but still, we didn't want it on anyone, <laughs> but it's it's okay. It could be worse. All right. We got a pretty much our core build here. You might notice we have completely skipped jungle items and warrior enchant. You don't get those on Shaco. Not really worth it, honestly. You don't need it. Uh, what we'll be doing next is pretty much preferential. Uh, Garden Angel is a good choice. I might do that. Uh, looking at their team, maybe I could go for more Malmortius. Um, even Storm Razor is good. Even just by itself, Storm Razor is fine. Phantom Dancer. There's a lot of good choices really that you can do on this champion. Could even complete the warrior enchant at this point. It's not. That's not a terrible choice either. Can we get this burned? Nice. Good stuff. 
Don't think I've had my pink ward down like at all this game. Pretty lazy boy. Uh, with Vayne and myself, this Baron is quite quite easy to take. Um, but the enemy team will not give it to us for free, that's for sure. Enemy team is not feeling that. Nice. Good stuff. I have 10 Dark Harvest stacks. Um, and we, we're getting there. We're getting there. It's not a huge amount, but we are getting there. Now, this is actually pretty scary against Orianna. Because that Shockwave is going to be a real pain in my ass. We're going to get our clone to tank most of this here, so we don't have to take loads of damage. Like I say, Vayne's actually, like, probably the main damage here anyway, so... Because whoever tanks Baron as well does half damage to it. That's a mechanic put into the game to stop people from being able to, like, solo Baron really easily. But it does mean that if you're... Oh, what a KS. I'd never do that to you, Vayne. I'd never last hit your <laughs> your free kill. But it, d it does mean that uh, if you're tanking Baron and you're a damage dealer, like a me melee damage dealer, obviously, then yeah. See, this is the thing. is like, Corky Nose is useless now. It's just like, all the effort I put into going around mid lane is just completely wasted on this guy. Unless I individually get stuff from it. Which, I I mean, we, we did get a kill. I got some flashes, but, like, flashes don't make me strong. I really just have to dedicate to camping that lane if I want to farm Orianna. But, you know, Corky's not got the best gank setup. And, you know, what do we get out of me going mid? We still have... Corky's still thoroughly behind this guy. Uh, it's just really what it is, honestly, at this point in the game. It would just be a lot better if I'd ignored him, really, and, and gone to a different lane. Fortunately for us, we were still able... I did a lot of stuff bot lane, for example. Like, we still did a lot of stuff there. Uh, and we gave a little bit of help to top lane, and that was actually enough for him to really take over. So, that's fortunate for us. Uh, anyway, let's sit behind here a little bit. Pop our sweeper. We do have dust bed, I guess, but still. Uh, and then we can go for a cheeky little assassination on someone, if, uh, if they feel like it. But the thing is, Trindamir needs to set up in position here. So we need to get Trindamir to uh, put, like, if Trindamir was down here, for example, then that would be a good time for us to start a fight, because he could then just get this tower, right? So like, it doesn't matter what happens in the fight, Trindamir will get the tower. Uh, but if we lose the fight, which we probably will if Trindamir is top, and, like, he's spit pushing, then, and he's not in position to, like, take a tower, then we just, you know, we just lose a fight, maybe lose a few people, and that will be that, right? So, where's this ward? Is it in this bush, maybe? There it is. Uh, honestly, I should probably be bot with my team. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're just doing like a three-lane split here, which is fine. But I'm, I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go bot here because these guys are stronger than Corky is. So, like, if I want to play around one person, it's it's not Corky, right? I want to play around Vayne and Lulu. Nice, it's flash. I use my ult preemptively there to dodge a brand ability. Because we don't want to get him to, uh, to be able to stun me. Because what, what Brand's going to do there, right, is he's going to see me and he's just going to try and stun me straight away. Oh, I'm in trouble now. Does she have ult? No. She's already used everything on Vayne. That's fine. I went pretty deep there. Woo! <laughs> Run to safety, Corky. Nice. Ez did some... I, I don't know if I agree with what Ez did here. He did get a tower mid. It's okay. Would he have been able to influence this, though? This was the immediate threat, right? And the thing is, the, the play that Ez makes mid lane is okay, but it relies on his team not dying bot lane. So either he needs to, like, really communicate that with his bot, or, so with the rest of the team... Or he just needs to group up with his team. And you, I mean, you saw the way Kane played it there. I don't know what, really what he was doing, but Kane really wanted to fight, which he shouldn't have done. So, can't really trust your teammate in, teammates in Sonic to play smartly. I'm only 90 gold off my GA, which I really want. I love my GA. I love my GA. It's Dark Harvest. I don't know, man. 500 damage, Dark Harvest, 25 minutes. 
I guess 12 stacks isn't that many. Maybe I just need to... I mean, this is the thing. I mean, I think Dark Harvest is over-nerfed. I think, honestly, maybe Electrocute is better at this point, but... Yeah, it's... I don't know, honestly. It's tough to say. I'm probably not playing it optimally either, going for going for like skirmishes and stuff. But it's fine. I think this will be the first time I'm going to use my U moves this game. See, it's not quite enough damages there, and she hurts me a lot. She's very big, yeah. She's like she has three, three, four items. It's more than I have. Uh. Ez is pretty killable. I could... If I went for him, I'd probably just suicide, though. Not gonna lie. Probably a bad idea. You know what? I feel like we're gonna end the game soon, and Baron's gonna spawn in a minute. So let's go for a... Let's go for an Elixir. Elixirs are not bad to pop at this stage of the game. I, I would say, in general, you probably don't worry about popping an Elixir. But at this stage of the game, it, it's... It's okay if you think maybe you're just going to go for that one team fight to win the game, or if there's an objective that's going to be spawning soon. How long do Elixir's last for again? Is it like three minutes? Yeah, it's three minutes. So, Baron spawning in one minute. I'm going to have an Elixir up for that Baron fight. Good stuff. Where's Ez? Come to me! Boop! <laughs> nice. Ouch. Marvel at that! An inhibitor. Mm -hmm. I can try and get this girl here. Nah, bruv. I want to kill Oriana. So, sadly, this Oriana is buggered off as I ran at her. But, generally speaking, that is what you want to do uh, when you use your ultimate. If you didn't see what I did, maybe just rewind a little bit. Basically, all you got to do... Oh, I need to take this real quick for the healing. Wait, you know what? What are you doing, mate? Are you actually... Are you drunk or... Crazy? High? All of the above? Nice! Did you see that stun block? I'm still gonna pop my GA, right? Nope, I'm actually a god at this game. Yo, I'm actually sick. Oh wow, that sucks. Okay, I'm gonna suck my own dick a little bit here because I earned it. Okay, but firstly, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> I'm gonna show you, tell you about what I did with my ulti. So when you initiate a play on someone as Shaco, you want to get your ultimate down because your clone does damage, right? So you want to get him down. The problem is. That the animation of you getting your clone out is like probably over a second long and people just run away from you. So the best thing to do is you want to deceive in and then while you're still in stealth, press R. Before you come out of stealth, this doesn't break your stealth, you press R, rewind the Oriana play, you'll see it. And then what the enemy sees is just a Shaco appear out of nowhere and they assume that it's you, the real Shaco, and they open up on it, they go crazy on it. And then you actually show up a little later and you pop them. So not, it serves two purposes. It, it it deceives them. I mean, I guess that's yeah, very top, topical for this champion. It deceives them, uh, but it also allows you to get your ultimate out, which is really like it's really good. Uh, now the other thing that I did there, the thing I really want to suck my dick about was the blocking brand stun. Saved my GA. I then entered afterwards, but it's fine. Basically, uh, your your clone your your box sorry can block damage. 
but it doesn't block damage all the time. It only blocks damage at the start of when it goes down. So when you see, if I press W, now it's blocking damage, now it's not. When it goes invisible, it, it skill shots, not damage. And when it goes invisible, it loses the, the ability for it to, um, for it to block skill shots. But when you first put it down, it's not invisible. You see, it's very much not transparent. Or translucent, I guess, would be a more accurate term. And during that time, it can block skill shots. And that's what happened with the brand there. Using my ulti here to block the Kane W. Blocking the <laughs> brand stun for Vayne. Though that was pretty unintentional, I'm not going to lie. There's just so many things you can do on this champion. It's great. Love it. Love it. Jesus, Vayne. Did she attack a ward there or something? Ah, my KDA! My KDA! Nice! Good stuff. So guys, I, did I earn your like? Did I earn your like? I'm not sure if I did, but either way, if I did, please, please, drop that down below. It helps me out, it helps the channel out, but yeah, most importantly, guys, if you did enjoy it, of course, you can leave that cheeky thumbs up. You can subscribe to me for more League of Legends gameplays and content, and when you do subscribe, flick my notification bell. I'm out of here, guys. It's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from Shadwell. I love you all. Have a fantastic day, and we will see you in our next video.